want to say thank you to those of you who are still thinking human beings, who know how to add and subtract, who know a little bit of history and can see a little bit of the future. Those of you who aren't sucked in and taken in by all this, who aren't in the Washington establishment, who aren't part of this whole social scene, who aren't busy tweeting all day long, but are actually making a living, actually making this country work. I want to thank all of you people who made a difference in November. And many of you who don't look at any of these websites or read any of these magazines, because your lives are being affected by actually what's going on in our government. Some of you are out of jobs, and you can't wait two years. Not for a serious first step to address this debacle. Some of you are losing your homes. You don't want help from government. You want the government to get the hell out of the way. Some of you are struggling in your businesses. Nothing that was done today, nothing, addresses any of this. I'm not talking about more government. I'm talking about the opposite. Nothing. Not a single program was proposed in this legislation for elimination. Not one. This is a joke. A complete joke. These politicians can spin it all they want. But it's a joke. I'm going to tell you a little story. I've never told you this story. November 2009. I get a call. I told you part of it, I think, but not all. From Michelle Bachman. She calls me on a Thursday night after the program. And she says, Mark, we've got to have a rally on the steps of the Capitol. We've really got to fight this Obamacare. I said, well, when do you want to have this rally? She said, Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday. I said, wait a minute. I'm on the air Friday and Monday and Tuesday. You're not giving me a lot of time to talk to, to folks about coming out. She said, Mark, we have to do it now. We have to do this. I said, okay. She said, I'm going to talk to John Voigt, too, and we're going to get some other people there. I said, um... Well, who else is going to be there? She said, I've got about five members of Congress. Steve King and a few others whose names I don't recall, but King I recall. Do you know um, 25,000, 40,000, I've heard 50,000 people turned out to that rally. And I walk into Michelle Bachman's office and there's John Foyt, who's a friend of mine, and a few others, and Melanie Morgan, too, a good friend of mine. I said, okay, we all ready? She said, well, there's been a little change of plans. I said, well, what? Well, the Republican leadership wants to participate now. So, did they lift a damn finger to send the word out to help us organize this? No, they didn't. She, um, she didn't say, I'm saying it, not a finger. It was the Tea Party groups. I was on the radio talking about it. That was it. And they showed up in Moss. There was Boehner, Cantor, I think Tom Price, a few of the others. But all of them showed up, almost all of them. And I remember saying to Michelle Bachman, well, isn't this funny? the Republican leadership trying to hijack this. I said, well, the more the merrier. The more the merrier. And I think back on that tonight as I watch this vote on the House. And I think exactly the same way. The Republican National Committee, John Boehner, Eric Cantor, Kevin McCarthy, did virtually nothing effective or substantive to earn these leadership posts that they have. You did it. You did it through our electoral process, through our representative process. And now they talk to you like you're crap. 
and the supporters who goose step behind them in and out of the media, they talk to you like you're crap. I'm going to tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, that ain't ever going to happen again. Not with me. No way. Never.